Hey guys, it's Nick from 4 t here, back with another video. And today I'm going to answer this question that is greatly debated in the tech and smartphone industry. And that is, should you buy an older flagship phone or should you buy a newer budget phone? Now before I get on with today's video, I'm going to tell you guys to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and stay tuned for future content. So the one word that comes to mind when buying a new smartphone is preferences. It depends on what you're looking for in that device that will allow you to make that choice. So what I have here in front of me is the Pixel 2 XL and the Essential phone. Both released in 2017, both run stock Android, and both use the Snapdragon 835 processing chip. When these phones retailed, the Pixel 2 XL was starting at $800 while the essential phone was starting at $300 to $500, depending on which model you bought. So why did this phone cost so much more than this phone? Well, that's what distinguishes a budget and a flagship phone. The Pixel 2 was mainly hyped for its camera, being one of the best in the business, while the essential phone was hyped because it crammed as many current and high-end specs as possible into as low as a price as possible, and this is seen even today with certain devices from OnePlus and Xiaomi. So let's talk about some sacrifices that the essential phone makes to cut down the price while using those high-end specs. First off is this, the display. While this is one of the best L LCD displays in the industry, it's still an LCD, which stands for Liquid Crystal Display. That way, that means colors aren't, advi aren't as vibrant, you'll get lower pixel densities in some cases. So that's definitely one of the sacrifices. While the Pixel 2 XL has an AMOLED display, hold on, I'm just going to enter this password in real quick. The Pixel 2 XL here has an AMOLED display, and while this is actually one of the worst AMOLED displays in the industry, as you can see that blue tint right there, using this phone was kind of a pain, especially when gaming but it's a very high-end display. So that's definitely one of the things you're going uh, to consider when buying either a budget phone or a flagship phone. So, and then this build quality. While this, so first off, this essential phone is built out of ceramic. That's a very interesting thing, especially for a budget phone. However, even it's ceramic, I don't think it matches up to the even to the aluminum feel on the Google Pixel 2. And while aluminum can be a little bit less durable and less expensive than um, than ceramic, the Pixel 2 XL definitely feels a little bit more quality than, than the essential phone. I don't know why. That's just what I think. Um, for those of you who want to like tell me wrong, make sure you leave that in the comments below. But anyway, build quality is usually going to be a distinguishing factor when you're buying a newer phone or an older phone. Okay, and then there's cameras. So the Pixel 2 XL and the, and the Pixel 2 had easily one of the most hyped cameras for the, uh, in 2017. Uh, it, was, it won many smartphone camera awards, particularly MKBHD smartphone awards for the best smartphone camera of 2017. And while the essential phone's camera was actually decent, it still can't stack up to the Pixel 2 XL. That's just something you're always going to have to, um, that's something that's always going to cause a drop, a drop off because budget phones can almost never have as good as a camera as flagship phones. So if you want, if photography is in your interest, you, I recommend buying an older flagship phone. All right, let's see what else. Okay, there's one more thing to talk about, and that is sound quality. So when you're using, you know, music or YouTube videos or watching YouTube videos or something like that, you're usually going to get some of the best sound quality in these um, flagship phones. I'm going to turn on a video. Hold on a sec from Rhapsody. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. The Pixel 2 XL had front firing speakers. So that's definitely one of the things that you're, oh my God, I dropped it. All right. Hold on a sec. So I'm going to play some music from Rap City, no copyright intended. And I'm going to fire up the central phone as well. Give you guys an idea how good these speakers are. Let's let that play for a second. Okay. Now I'm about to play the essential phone right here. Just give me a second. 
right. So just judging by those two short clips, you guys can tell the Essential Phone sounds a lot more tinny. It's a lot less, you know, bass heavy. So that's definitely another thing you have to consider when buying either a budget phone or a flagship phone. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Um, it was This video was not well prepared. It was kind of more impromptu. However, hopefully you guys can walk away with some ideas when you're thinking about buying a new phone. Um... And yeah, so that's going to be about it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And see you guys later. Peace out.